Yo, what's going on YouTube? The Steve here from Click, and today I'm going to be doing a video about the Apple Watch Series 1 uh, 42mm. Uh, I've had the unboxing video out for probably about a month now, give or take, and I finally used the, I mean, not finally used this, I finally found time to shoot the video on this watch. I've been using it for so long, um, and I've obviously I've got my thoughts, my impressions, my review, so I'm going to be giving it to you guys, and I'll be telling you guys if it's worth picking up or if it's not worth picking up, so uh, let's we'll get into it. So uh, first things first, guys, the thing I love most about this watch is the fact that I can just switch out the watch bands with ease. Like, if I don't want to use the this fake Milanese loop one that I picked up on Amazon, uh, I don't need to. I swap it out, and uh, I can just throw in this uh, other fake Nike watch one that I picked up on, on Amazon as well. So it's pretty cool in that you can basically customize your watch for you know 20 bucks a band 10 bucks a band uh, rather than spending you know what is it five six hundred bucks for some of apple's bands it's nuts their their watch bands are so freaking expensive and i don't know if anyone ever buys the real milanese lube watch band you're a freaking moron <laughs> um but yeah i mean it, it's just ridiculous they're they're so expensive to buy the different bands it's like what the hell apple but it is what it is um also i picked up the uh the, the cases so that's another thing i like about these uh so i'll, I'll grab the other case here um, so right now I'm rocking the uh, the Simply Carbon Fiber Apple Watch Series 1 case and it looks freaking awesome guys. It's so light, it's so thin, um, and it basically, it's like a skin for your watch, but it, it's just a little bit thicker than a skin. So it looks awesome and it really, really looks nice with the carbon fiber on the back of the iPhone. So uh, this is the box it came in and I also have the Xtoria Defense Edge case in here for the, I believe it's the Defense Edge case for the Apple Watch as well. Uh, obviously in the red color, so I just keep it in there. And then somewhere lying around somewhere else, I've got the, oh, it's right here, awesome. <laughs> uh, I've got the Spigen Tough Armor shock resistant case or whatever, so I use that for times when I need it to be, you know, when I need the watch to be able to withstand a little bit of shaking. Almost knocked over the camera there. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. Uh, Wakas, again, why is Wakas always interfering with my vids? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it for, I mean, that's my, my biggest thing about the Apple Watch is the ability to customize it, buy cases, buy watch bands, and come really make it your own. Um, or if, you know, you feel like having a different look or different style every day, you're totally able to do that within like five seconds. Pop the case off, pop the bands off, put in a new case, put in a new band, and you're good to go. Um, in terms of the OS, guys, so it is running the Apple Watch. Well, I, may as, I may as well boot it up. I thought it was turned on for the video. That's nice. <laughs> but uh, in terms of the OS, it's running OS 3.3 or 3.13 or something. I don't really care about the Apple Watch OS. It doesn't really... Like the updates and stuff don't really introduce, you know, groundbreaking features or anything. Apple Watch OS has pretty much been the same since day one. Um, obviously, there's the, you know, the updates bring performance enhancements, smoothness, transit, and I can't speak English, oh my god. The transition animations, all that stuff is kind of smoothened out. Apps load a bit, a little bit quicker. Uh, if I want to check the weather or check Twitter and all that stuff, it kind of syncs from the phone to the to the watch quicker than before. Um, and I'm just waiting again, just waiting for it to boot up here. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of the OS, it runs great. I mean, it's... I really, I, that's all I can say, it just runs great, it does what it's supposed to do. There's a lot of stuff on there that I just don't care for, like, in, you know, like I said earlier on, checking Twitter, I don't do on my watch. If I want to check Twitter, it's honestly quicker still to just pull out my phone, unlock it, check Twitter there, and then put my phone back, because the watch still does take quite a bit of time sometimes to load your feed, and again, I don't want to be browsing on a two inch screen or like, you know, one and a bit inch screen. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, for people who do it, that's great. The feature's there, but for me, it's just not my thing. Um, one thing I don't like about the software now that it's booted up, I, well, not booted up yet. Oh my goodness. Come on, Apple Watch. That's another thing I don't like about the software. Boot times are freaking forever. I finally booted up here, so I'll show you guys. So right now I'm rocking the, uh, the astronomy watch face. So it's kind of funky. I can switch between earth and the moon. Uh, so that'll fly me over to the moon and I can scroll forward time. I can go back in time. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's again, totally like gimmicky and, and just a useless watch face in, in, in reality, but um, it is what it is. Also, you can switch out here to the different planets. Uh, I'm trying not to make this an Apple Watch OS review. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, it is what it is, guys. Uh, the one thing I also don't like about the Apple Watch is the lack of watch faces. You're stuck with what Apple gives you. If you don't like it too bad, um, it is what it is. Um, come on, come on. I'm just trying to show the home screen Apple Watch. Come on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you have your, your apps and stuff that you choose to sync over, um, you, you know, remote shutter, you can check your mail and all that stuff. It does everything an Apple Watch, you, you know, you know, a smartwatch should do. 
nothing really over the top it's a little bit you know here and there if I want to pop into the settings here you can see the settings app takes a little second there to load like it's just small things like that that I don't like um, but it is what it is it's not the biggest deal in the world uh, again is it a deal breaker not at all it's just you know that's what you get for choosing the slower end processor uh, I'm sure the series 2 is a little bit faster but again is it really worth that extra money I'll get into that in a bit so uh, another will cost message Jesus Christ leave me the hell alone <laughs> Um, what else do I want to talk about? I mean, the build of the watch is great. I mean, for the price you're paying, guys, um, you're getting a wicked aluminum build all the way around. Uh, depending on which watch you get, you might get a stainless steel one. You might get the, the gold one. Uh, if you're balling, you'll get the gold one. If, if you're just a bum like me, you'll just get the normal aluminum one. But, um, again, it is expensive. Don't get me wrong. 400 bucks for a smartwatch is ridiculously expensive. But... You're getting very, very high quality, you know, premium materials. The build is fantastic. Everything's fit together so perfectly. Um, another thing I do love about the Apple Watch is that Taptic engine is by far the best vibration motor ever. Um, and I wish I had an, uh, an iPhone with that Taptic engine because it's just so great. And I know it's, you know, some people might not care. It's just a buzz. But this one actually feels like someone's sitting there and going and tapping you on the wrist when you get a notification. It's kind of weird. And it, when, once you get used to it, it's actually really cool. Um, and it's just, again, just Taptic Engine is awesome. So um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I mean, if you guys want to see, um, you, you know, talk about specs and stuff, there's not really much to talk about. It's got a basic display, OLED. Um, don't know what the resolution is. It's not the greatest resolution display in the world, um, but it does the job. And it's great. You know, you can change the brightness in, in, in uh, low light, and bright time. You can change it. And if you're outside during the day and you need to look at the watch, you can turn it up. But um, viewing angles and stuff, I've been outside, bright sunlight. It's great. I've never had to switch the brightness at all. I think it's at medium right now, and I can see the display just fine. Um, what do I really use it for? When I get a notification, if it's important enough to answer, I'll pick up my phone and answer it. If it's not, I just dismiss it on the watch. It goes away from my phone, and I don't need to worry about it. So that's really all I use it for. I honestly, I could be fine. I would be fine just using a Pebble, but uh, it's an Apple Watch, so why not? Um, what else guys I think that's pretty much it I mean it's it is what it is the Apple watch everyone knows the specs and all that stuff uh, I do want to have another quick talk about is it worth buying the uh, the series 2 Apple watch versus the series 1 uh, personally I don't think so I mean if you've got the money go for it if you're balling sure thing go buy the Apple watch series 2 get the gold one whatever deck yourself out but for someone like me for a basic user of the Apple watch um, and then it kind of sounds weird coming out of my mouth because I'm generally pretty heavy usage on all my tech but uh, just with the smartwatches, I just don't use them as often. Um, I mean, it's not worth it. I, I personally don't think, and I think for most viewers, I just don't think it's worth that extra 150 bucks or whatever it is to, to get that Series 2 upgrade. Because all you're getting really is some GPS. You're getting a little bit better glass. I think the glass is, is a little bit harder. Uh, you get that waterproof or water resistance up to 50 meters is what Apple rates it at. Um, and what else? I mean, a better processor and a brighter screen. I mean, yeah, those things are great, but I don't have any issues with what I have here. I never take this thing until, even if this was a, you know, 500 meter rated waterproof device, I wouldn't take it in the water just because I've spent tons of money on it. And if something just happens to go wrong, it's going to be on me. So that's just something to think about there as well. If you have the waterproof Apple Watch, do you really need to throw go in the water with it? Yeah, it's cool to have and all, but again, you spent money on it. Do you really want to risk that? So it is what it is, guys. Um... And that's pretty much it. I mean, again, do I think it's worth it to buy the Series 2? Not really. Get the Series 1. You'll be just fine with that. You'll get the same software updates. you get the same everything as the Series 2. Little minor hardware changes here and there. Um, now, the thing is, do I recommend the Apple Watch in general? Do the Apple Watch is a smartwatch. Do I recommend it? Um, that's a tough one because, I mean, if you have the money there and you're just set on getting an Apple Watch, then yeah, go for it. It's going to be a great device for you. You won't have any complaints. You're going to love it. But... Do you need it? Not at all. It's it's honestly more of a fashion accessory than anything else because you wear the Apple Watch. Everyone knows it's an Apple Watch. They think you're cool. They think you're balling, whatever. They think you're a douche. <laughs> it's what it is. Um, I get all kinds of different comments. People say, oh, it looks tacky. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It matches the suit. It matches the, the clothes you're wearing. Or it looks sporty. There's all kinds of different opinions. But uh, if someone were to ask me what do you actually use it for, I would tell them really nothing. Um, just the Pebble, you know, Pebble would have been just fine for me. Um, checking notifications and that's really it. So again, do you really need the Apple Watch? Not really, not at all. Um, it's But it's a fan, if you do have one, it's a fantastic accessory to have just to complement your iOS device. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, 
again do i recommend the apple watch yes and if you if you really want it then yeah go for it if not then don't worry about it um also do i recommend this uh simply carbon fiber case the answer is hell yeah this is by far the best case i've seen for the apple watch ever it may have cost a little bit but it is what it is you got to pay to play as my boy floss usually says uh says on his channel so um a little bit expensive for a piece of carbon fiber but it's awesome so uh, and it looks really great like come on you guys can't tell me that doesn't look awesome uh, complemented with the carbon fiber on the back of the iPhone here so it is what it is guys anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video if you have any more questions about the Apple watch stuff like that let me know in the comments down below and drop a like on the video drop a dislike on the video it depends on if you enjoyed it or not so let me know keep me in the loop uh, if you guys like the stuff on the channel feel free to subscribe to us uh, we're very quickly approaching uh, a thousand subs so uh, we're going to be having a pretty solid massive giveaway for that uh, So guys if you like the content on the channel feel free to sub and uh, get yourself entered in for some giveaways um, And guys if you again if you have questions comments concerns leave them down below if you like the video drop a like I've said this already um, <laughs> But that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching This has been the C from click and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace